What is up and welcome back everybody. Here we are in the East Hebra Sky Archipelago. We found what looks like maybe another Sky Island Shrine. Let's activate this thing. That's pretty cool, it gave us a warp point. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. To do so, I will grant you a light that punishes evil. Seek the crystal. All right, let's look around. Got some rusty, rusty equipment here. So far, nothing I see wor worth taking. We got a Zonai gumball machine here. So maybe we could launch ourselves up there? Or we could use this. Maybe we could launch this up there? While we're on it? <laughs> what is that? It's a treasure just hanging out there. Okay, first things first. I want to try and get that treasure. And I think I know how to do it. Instead of using the gumball machine, we're going to, uh, we're going to drive over there. And to do that, we're going to steal some stuff off of this. Actually, let's just bring this over there. <laughs> That's a lot easier, isn't it? Than going back and forth with all this other stuff. So we clearly need to get on top of that big island. Oops. <laughs> Trying to bring it. There we go. We'll hold it around. We'll go around this way. Now I think we can just kind of repurpose this a little bit. Let's glue these together. <laughs> there we go. Easy there, fan. And let's put another fan. Let's move this one on this side. I know, I realize it's not perfect. Not even close. <laughs> but this is gonna get us there, I feel it. I feel like it's gonna do it. Here we go. So what happens when we run out of Zonai power? Uh-oh! That's not good. <laughs> I didn't think it would just disappear. Oh, it didn't disappear. It just fell. Hey. Perfect. Look what we just fell into. <laughs> you can't make up that kind of luck. That's so funny. Um... What about the ability to steer this thing, though? Is it right above where that treasure is? God, I think it is, isn't it?
Let's hit it. <laughs> this is so cool. How we doing on power? Our first one's almost out. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. We are not by that treasure though, are we? We're getting up there though. So we got something here. Ooh, I wish we could grab that from there. Maybe we could grab this one from here. Because now we could probably use it, right? To get down to that treasure. That's what I'm thinking. We just lost the fan. So curious what's in that treasure. It's in such a it's in such a tough spot, you know. We're so close. Yes! <laughs> old map. A very old map that shows a marked spot. What could be there? It's in the depths? The location on the old map has been marked on your map. Ooh. That's very cool. So is there anything right ab immediately above us here? Let's go up then. Hopefully that's not too high to grab it. Bring that in a little. So that beam, shooting right into the heart of this island. I think that one of these might have a hole in it, but maybe not. It's got a Korok. course. <laughs> Love it. So it showed like those vines. I'm just trying to find the best way to get down there. I'm wondering if we should be taking the uh, old air balloon down. <laughs> it's only on that one side, on this far side. And I don't think we're going to be able to reach this platform anymore. Oh yeah, not even close. I think that's where we need to be though. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. We can just chop through those. There's the crystal. So I'm wondering, did that give us everything we need? I think it said we need to like bring it to the beam. We need to like bring it back. Is there a steering console? Yes, there is. So let's build this thing. We're gonna need some, uh, we got a couple of fans. Couple of energy cells. We're gonna do this. It's a little high. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> there we go. Is two energy cells gonna be enough to make it is the question. Definitely don't want to lose this. So let's get this right in the front. And let's keep these uh, kind of over here so we can turn it on and off easily. And that breaks that, huh? Hey, I thought that was attached. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. I think we're good now. We're gonna start us off kind of this way. And then I think it'll be easier to uh, turn because this could go get going pretty quick. I noticed, and then it doesn't turn very sharply. Come on. Oh man, we could do this. We could do this, we could do this. <laughs> oh. We did it! Oh yeah! Awesome! You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Oh, it turned into a shrine. <laughs> now that was cool. That was the most, probably the most unique shrine that I've seen out of Breath of the Wild and this one yet. Roru's blessing. 
Cannonown Shrine. That was awesome. So cool. And there we go. We got enough for another heart now. Lord knows we need that. What's that little star-shaped sky island? There it is. We shoot ourselves off that way? I want to experiment with this a little bit, too. Like, uh, let's try putting some Zonai charges in there. Hook me up. Whoa! A sled. A Zonai device with a slick underside. Cool. Light, a Zonai device that can bring some light to dark places. It shines in one direction and its light doesn't reach too far, but it can come in handy on dark roads or caves. And a cart. So cool. Man, I really don't want to put a large one in there. What if I do a large Zonite and a Zonite charge? Just gave me the large Zonite back. Okay, now what if I do... So it's got massive energy stored within. Put it in a Zonite device dispenser or use it to temporarily prevent a Zonai energy cell from losing power. Okay, I just want to put it in the dispenser and see what I get now. So will I get something totally different because it's large? Whoa! Give me a bunch of stuff. Sleds, carts, lights. Nothing new though. How do I get like, uh, like I want to get a fan out of there. How, do, how would I get a fan? What if I put like a, a construct horn in and a charge? Oh, that gave me a fan. Does it say what the recipes are? No, it's almost like it's pure luck. There's gotta be other things I could do. So what if I put like um, a like-like stone and two Zonai charges? Just gave me the stone back. Maybe it has to be like a Zonai, like a Zonai item. Like here, Zolder con Soldier Construct Horn 2. Let's do that with the Zonai Charge. This is going to give us different things. Sled and a fan. Will I get more fans now? Say I do two of those and let's do three charges. Lights. I didn't get any fans that time. I tell you, you don't have much time if you go on there. <laughs> Let's try to do a wing.
And two fans. What is this? Oh, it's a portable pot. Probably don't have nearly enough power to make it there, though, really. Yeah, it's not even moving. That was a waste. Let's get up there. Here we go. <laughs> Just shot that off the cliff. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, that, that was an epic failure. Huh. What else could we do? How do I get those energy cells? Like, is there a way for me to make an energy cell? Let's do this, this, and one of those. I wonder if certain, like, uh, Zonai device dispensers only dispense certain devices. I can't reach that. Maybe I could get myself, like, back up here. That did it. Let's see if we can get a better look at this. I don't know what that is. So like if we could get a fan to kind of propel us that way at the same time as going up. That could be a way to get there. So we might have to just take out a fan. Unless there's one on this one. There's only one way to find out if this will work. Get out of the way. Got to make sure this thing is aimed straight, too. Like that. Is that right on it? It's pretty close, but I think we could turn it like a little bit to the left, maybe. That's pretty close right there. How many fans do we want to put on this thing? How many fans do we got? So we got four. Let's take out two.
Here we go. Let's try it out. So which one's depleting? All right, so now it's said that we could use these Zonite charges to temporarily prevent. Is that how we do it? No. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually making this. <laughs> this is awesome. So like, can I just take a Zonai charge now and... It says I could use it. We made it. What is this thing? It's etched in ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. What? I came all the way up here for ancient Hyrulean text that I can't read? All that work we did. Oh no. We dropped the fans. Oh, wait, that's okay. That's okay. I think we might be able to get to this other island. Right there. Right? How far away is it? We'll check the map and see if it actually sounds ridiculous or realistic. Well, it's definitely a little bit farther than this one. But if we're high enough, we might be able to do it. And we got these Zonai charges. So let's put our fans on. And let's go for it. Completing us fast. So it's giving us like extra battery cell power, it looks like. Just use a large one. There we go. Where'd it go? Are we under it? Oh no, we're not. We just couldn't see it. Man, that large zone I charged was huge. Come on, make this, make this. North Lome Castle Top Floor. Whoa. Tenbez Shrine. This looks serious. What is this thing? Let's do this shrine. Now we'll at least we'll be able to warp back here, even if we can't go inside it. It looks like something crazy. Gravity and velocity. Tenbez Shrine.
Okay, what do we got here? We got stairs going up to each one. What did that do? That turned something on. Hold on, hold on. This is a, like a switch or what? Now, whatever it's doing, I have no idea. Oh, it like lowered gravity. I should be able to get up there just myself now, letting this thing shoot me. I had no idea that was a, like a switch. Whoa! <laughs> I was in here. I'm gonna edit this. I was in here for a long time trying to figure that out. So we could turn off gravity, or turn down gravity. That is cool. All right, now what about this one? We need to turn it back on. Oh, we need the ball. I don't know if I would have gotten hurt there or not. That is cool. Hey, now I want to test something. Can I just hit it? Oh, jeez. This whole time I was in there, all I had to do was hit that thing. This was the most confusing puzzle I've ever done in my life. Because I didn't know that the switch was a switch. <laughs> there we go. So now that's up there. I think there's a button in that cage. We could just put this in up there. In the cage up there. Oh, did it fall down, though? Yeah. So it's like... Hold on, hold on here. Oh, how are we gonna do that? I see, I see. So we just gotta turn the gravity back on when the ball is directly over that.
Got it. Yes! We figured it out. Only took forever. But we did it. All right, Lo North Lome Castle, top floor. Before I even mess with that. I want to go get another heart. So we're going to go back to Lookout Landing. Use our blessings, get another heart. Okay, so we'll head into the bunker to this goddess statue. So far, this is one of the only, if not the only goddess statue I know of in the game so far. I'm sure there's one in Rito Village somewhere, though. It says what's inside there. Zone eye devices available. Oh, cool. This one says just question marks. I wonder, do these like recycle after a blood moon or something like that? All right, guys, here we are in the Heber Mountain sky. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I don't know if it's going to be something that's way too hard. This looks intimidating. It might be something that's way too hard for us to do right now. But we're going to check it out in the next episode. So everybody take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.